You might think that a fabric is just a fabric, right? Wrong! There are infinite types of fabrics, from jerseys to plain weave, from satin to percale, from terry cloth fabrics to jacquard. Each fabric has its own history and is manufactured through specific machines. In case of woven fabrics, looms are used, not this one of course. In this video we will talk about woven fabrics. As you can see from this flowchart, woven fabrics are just a part of all the textiles that exist nowadays in the world. To be more specific, in this video we will talk about the three fundamental weaves, the plain weave, the twill and the satin. Let's see that together. First, if you don't know anything about weaving, I will leave my video explaining the basics of the weaving in the description below. To let you better understand what a plain weave is, I have a tablecloth over here. Let's see through the linen tester how it is manufactured. Let's see that together. Plain weave means that one each weft thread crosses the warp thread by going over one, then under the next and so on. The next weft thread goes under the warp thread and its neighbor went over and vice versa. Plain weave is the most basic of the three fundamental textile weaves. Fabrics with a plain weave pattern are generally strong, durable, stable and have smooth surface. Furthermore, are generally easy to manufacture. They are often used for a variety of applications, including clothing, home textiles and industrial fabrics. Plain weave is the most spread among the fundamental weaves. But it's not the only one, we also have twill. Gabardine, tweed and denim are an example of twill fabrics. I have, for example, a pair of jeans over here. We will see through the linen tester how is it manufactured. Let's see that together. It is made by passing the weft thread over one or more warp threads, then under two or more warp threads and so on, with a step or offset between the rows to create this diagonal pattern. Because of this structure, twill generally drapes well. Twill weaves tend to rotate, so it's very important to perform some for on twill fabrics. The third fundamental weave is satin. I have a vest over here. We will see through the linen tester how is it manufactured. The satin weave is characterized by four or more fill or weft yarns floating over a warp yarn and four warp yarns floating over a single weft yarn. Floats are missed interlacings, for example, where the warp yarn lies on the top of the weft in a warp-faced satin. These floats explain the high luster and even sheen, as unlike in other weaves. Light is not scattered as much when hidden fibers, resulting in a stronger reflection. You can clearly see that in the satin, the long continuous yarn on the surface, interlacing with the other yarn just to form the fabric, but not too much interlacing. If you combine this pattern with a precious yarn, such as silk, the fabric will become fantastic. Satin fabrics tend to have snagging problems, since the yarn easily come out. In the next video we will surely talk about the graphic representation of the weaves, satin, twill and plain weave. But for now, that's enough. That's all for today, I hope you have enjoyed the content of this video, you will find my details below along with my email. Reddit and so on. If you need any textile consultancy, I am at disposal naturally. And yeah, as usual, stay safe, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.